Okay, so I'm going to talk about the division algorithm right now. And it says if you have a function in terms of x, then it's equal to the divisor times the quotient. And these are polynomials, okay, plus the remainder. Okay, now the remainder could be a constant. We saw that on the last example. But it could be um, a higher degree, okay? But the degree has to be less than the divisor. Okay, so let's talk about degrees. So when we talk about degrees, like this polynomial down here, that has a degree 4. Okay, and here we have the divisor, which is a degree 2. So the degree of d of x, the divisor, has to be less than the degree of the original polynomial. Now that makes sense if you think about it. You know, you couldn't divide into a, a polynomial that had a smaller degree. Okay. The remainder, the degree of the remainder, has to be less than the degree of the divisor. Whoops, the divisor. Okay. And if r of x, if the remainder equals 0, then we say it divides evenly. Okay, so there's some terminology too. So if you ever want to check to see if your division's right, you take the divisor times the quotient, add the remainder, and that should equal the original function. Okay, now that's a bit of work, but um, you certainly could do that. We have the technology. All right, so here's another division problem. So we have 3x squared minus 2x. That's our divisor. You'll notice that there's no constant. Um, that's probably not a problem, but we'll see what happens. I'm not too worried about it. Um, but the, div the dividend, that it has a problem. <laughs> so notice that it goes x to the fourth, x cubed, but there's no x squared. We have to make room for an x squared term. So what we're going to do is we're going to say 0x squared. We're just going to put that in there. Now, sometimes the long division problems take up a little bit of paper. Usually, they take a little bit of paper. OK, so that's what, what I call a missing term. It didn't have any x squareds, but there's going to be some x squareds that pop up probably, and we need a place to put them. So it has to go in order. Um, you put the 0 in to say we don't have any. kind of looks like ox, but it, it's a 0x squared. OK, now we're just going to go through the process. This is what we've been working on. How many times is 3x squared going to 6x to the fourth? You could stop the video and think about that. But hopefully you came up with 2x squared. Then you're multiplying. 6x to the fourth. You're kind of double checking when you do that multiplication. And then minus, you've got to multiply the 2x squared times negative 2x, minus 4x cubed. Okay, so far so good. Now we're going to change our signs. Those are canceling out. They're supposed to. Now we're going to get 9x cubed. And the next term to bring down is that 0x squared. But don't worry about it. It'll be OK. All right, now we go again. How many times does 3x squared go into 9x cubed? Plus 3x. So again, you could kind of stop yourself as we're going through this. Stop the video and see if you know what the next term is. OK, now we multiply. 3 times 3 is 9. x squared times x is x cubed. Great. And 3x times negative 2x is going to be minus 6x squared. See, we needed a place to put that 6x squared. That's why the zero is there. It's like a placeholder. Okay? All right. Now we're going to change the signs, which is the subtracting. Those cancel out. That's supposed to happen. And then I keep saying that. 6x squared. Okay, bring down the, the next term, which is plus 3x. And then we go again. Now I may run out of a little room. I'll try to write smaller. Okay. How many times does 3x squared go into 6x squared? It's going to be plus 2. Right? I don't need any more x's. I got enough x's. 6x squared minus 4x. Okay, so change the signs. Don't forget that. Sometimes people will forget that. Those cancel out. 6x squared minus 6x squared. Out. Okay, and then we get 7x. Okay. And then we're going to bring down the minus 5. Let's not forget the minus 5 there at the end. 
Okay, now we're done. <laughs> How do I know we're done? It's not because three doesn't go into seven. It's because this polynomial has a degree less than the divisor. So I've got a 3x squared. I can't multiply by anything that's going to give me 7x because I already have x squared. Do you see what I'm saying? So that's how I know I'm done. Um, you could say, try to be fancy and stuff, but it won't be polynomial. So um, there's no polynomial, but I'm going to multiply by 3x squared by to get just an x. Okay. All right. So you can think about that in your spare time. Um, so what's the answer? 2x squared plus 3x plus 2 plus, and now here comes the remainder, 7x minus 5 over the dividend. It's 3x squared, and not the dividend, the divisor. Listen to me. Okay. It's because it's Friday. All right. There you go.